shopper. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you've had something good today because we're going to have some good food. If you haven't eaten yet, go ahead and grab yourself a snack and hurry right back. Just had some pistachio tasting. Now we're going to continue on our way. The sun is out fully, the sky is clear, but it's a little bit windy and so it feels chilly. Thank you. 
the best. No, that's okay. <laughs> oh, Bucky's got moves. <laughs> hey, go Bucky, go Bucky, go Bucky. <laughs> in Springfield, Missouri, headed on my way to Little Rock, and I stopped at the Bucky's here. The entire store is, <laughs> the entire store <laughs> is, <laughs> the entire store is an experience, but, <laughs> <laughs> the entire store is an experience. I bought a few products, and I want to share them with you right now. But before I do that, let me show you what I got in, um, what was that place called? Alamo Gordo, New, Me New Mexico? Alamo Gordo, New Mexico. These pistachio nuts are delicious. They're lightly roasted and they have hot pepper on them. And I bought the chocolate just to have that sweet spicy flavor. I probably should have gotten, mm, mm -hmm. I probably should have gotten plain milk chocolate because Chocolate covered, pist chocolate covered pistachios doesn't have the same flavor as like chocolate covered almonds. I think I prefer almonds with chocolate more than pistachios. It's still good, but the roasted flavor from almonds is much better in chocolate. like to have it together. Mm. And in here is pistachios, brown rice syrup, cane sugar, and Himalayan sea salt. nutty. Not as sweet as I expected. Nice.
let's try this. Cajun style fried pecans. They smell like, um, smell like meat. <laughs> The seasoning is light. I expect it to have spicy, but it's not spicy. Mm. Mm -hmm. They're good, but not as spicy as I expected. Yeah. I'm going to have to mix my hot pistachios with it. Pickled okra. All right. Pickled okra. I like it. Yeah. Okay, I don't have anything to spread this on, so I'm just going to taste it by itself. This is nice. I can't taste the bourbon. The first thing I taste is like a fruity flavor, then I, then I, then I, I start crunching on the nut. The bourbon is extremely subtle. You kind of get it like as an after effect. It's not strong, it's, it's really subtle. But it's nice. Not as sweet as I thought and that's perfect. I'm gonna be using this a lot. <laughs> drive from Springfield to Little Rock. I took Highway 65. During the day, that might be a good route to take. At night, 
As a first timer, worst thing I ever did. The route was through the woods, dark, long, windy road. I mean, there were parts where I was going like 45 miles an hour because being in an unfamiliar car on an unfamiliar road with the dark, I was like oh, too afraid to go faster. Got hot pecans with sweet pistachios. And the cars passing me were zooming by so quickly. A lot of the route was just one long winding road. And then there's small sections where you can pull over and allow people to pass you. But the people passing me were going, were zipping by so quickly that I didn't feel comfortable following them. And finally, someone was going like, you know, 55 miles an hour or so. I sped up and followed them so that they could, you know, light the way. So that they could, so that their car could light up the way and I could just easily follow them without feeling, you know, <laughs> too, too nervous. There was one point when I was just like, I, I, there was one point when I pulled off the road and just went to Walmart because I was so, tired. That's surprisingly very good. So the trip took about a lot of the area was wooded. A lot of the area was very woody. Tall, tall trees. I was driving through towns and it was like, like population 113, population 108. And it was like, whoa. <laughs> Then it would come to a bigger town. Finally, when I got to Harrison, I think it was Harrison, there was a Walmart. So I stopped the second time and went to Walmart to do some shopping.
These are really good. There's no slime whatsoever in here. If you've never had okra, when you cook it too long, it gets this slimy texture to it. These were obviously raw right before they pickled them. Because it still maintains that crunchiness which I like. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had something delicious to eat as well and that your day is going great. I hope you're staying sane among all the insanity happening across the world. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.